The Linux kernel. It's what's running behind every installation of Linux. Without it, the operating system simply wouldn't function. But what actually is it? What does it do? These are all questions that you'll soon know the answer to. Join me as we explore what goes on under the hood of your operating system. The Linux kernel began its life in the early 90s as an educational exercise, while creator Linus Torvalds was studying computer science at the University of Helsinki in Finland. He wanted to learn more about the inner workings of operating systems and develop his programming skills. As the project progressed, Torvalds envisioned an open source, Unix-like operating system that could run on his own Intel 80386 based PC. This desire, combined with his ideas to improve on existing systems like Minix, led him to release the Linux kernel version 0.01 under the GNU General Public License on the 17th of September 1991. So, now we know how the Linux kernel began its life, but what even is it? Quite simply, it's a piece of low-level software that acts as an intermediary between your computer hardware and your operating system. It's what lets your operating system and all of the processes running within it interact with your hardware easily. This is called hardware abstraction. The kernel also handles things like security, system resource management, system calls, and device drivers. Operating systems can't function without a kernel, and Linux is no exception. Without a kernel, there would be no way to perform these essential tasks that form the basis of a modern system. So, what are these tasks that we've heard about so far? Computer hardware is complicated. There are things like interrupts, memory addressing, power management, clock management, and error handling. Each one of these things is a huge rabbit hole, and it's a lot for us to keep track of. Well, your operating system and programs don't want to keep track of that either. Hardware abstraction then is a layer that bridges the gap between the complexity of system hardware and higher level software like your operating system and the programs running on it. It's a service in the kernel that provides a standardized interface, which means your programs can interact with your hardware without needing to understand the specifics. It also manages device drivers, lots of which are also built into the kernel. Resource management is another task that your kernel performs in the background. It's a set of procedures and algorithms that allocate and control system resources like your CPU, memory, and I.O. devices. As a simplified example, the kernel schedules software processes and decides which ones get access to the CPU and for how long. The kernel also oversees memory management, including the allocation and deallocation of memory for programs, paging, and swapping. It also manages input and output to your PC, with things like I.O. queues. If you've ever wondered how your computer copes with the varied and colossal amounts of data we push through every second, now you know. It's the kernel, efficiently managing your resources. There are too many features of the Linux kernel to list here. For example, system calls, which allow the user to request system services or resources like opening files, sending data, or searching for something or the security that comes baked into the kernel with a rigid permissions and file system structure that we take for granted. Those are just quick and oversimplified examples that illustrate just how much of your device's functionality is handled by the kernel. I'm trying to be mindful to not bombard you with information. This is a very high level explanation of what the kernel is. Almost every concept and technical term used in this video could be a whole video topic itself. But in a nutshell, if you think of the Linux kernel as an intermediary layer between your hardware and your operating system, you're on the right track. Hopefully this video has been interesting. I'm really enjoying making this Linux series. And if you're enjoying it too, why not leave a like and get chatting in the comments down below. I'm definitely gonna delve deeper into these topics in the future, but for now I'm focusing on introducing new topics and keeping things accessible. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.